it is okay. I can smoke stogies around her. I can smoke stogies in my house. First of all, because her father introduced me to stogies. And second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Winner of last week's video, again, if you guys comment on this video, you guys get entered for a giveaway for Young LA. Um, winner of last week's video is Morgan Godfrey. I already DM'd you, you're gonna get your package hopefully soon. Hopefully you get it by the time you see this video. Again, thank you for the fucking support as always. Um, guys, I'm on prep, I'm like a week and a half in, I'm not dying yet, but I wanna start initiating like the, the vibes in the gym as soon as I can, so I don't wanna be talking too much to the camera, so I'll be doing voiceovers. If you guys do like this style of video, we will continue it. I know I'm gonna enjoy it because I, I binge watch people that do voiceovers, but if you guys do or don't please leave a comment let me know what you guys want because again we make this content for you guys not for me well you're also um, you're also dialed gym on prep yeah so I'm it's kind of hard to like always like be you know. yeah guys i'm not trying to i'm trying to be honest here guys i'm not trying to fucking talk to the camera while i'm working out i like to work out so I wanna maybe you guys will see some intensity too with how the workouts are versus like when i'm making a youtube video i'm not going nearly as hard versus this video you guys will actually see like how sweaty how pumped you guys will see like an actual patty workout plus they, the homeboys got the fit yeah, bro, I'm an actual bodybuilder today. <laughs> but seriously, guys, uh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run into the video now in three, two, one. Voiceover. <laughs> Voiceover. Sweet, bro. Okay. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're training back, by the way. Back and light bicep. It's gonna be fucking crazy. This workout looks like absolute brutal ass cheeks. It's like a super set the entire time. You guys will see. Now we're gonna initiate voiceover <laughs> in three, two, one. Okay, guys. I started my workout with a neutral grip lat pull down as you guys can see um so the way that this workout went is i did 20 rest 30 seconds 20 rest 30 seconds 20 rest 30 seconds and so on then i switched to a v guard a v bar grip and yeah this was probably the hardest way possible that i could have started the workout um so this program that i'm running is actually insane it's gonna be making me grow a lot it's a lot more volume than what i'm used to as you can tell like that was my first first set and i'm already like starting to die but it's funny because the more and more I'm like growing into like the bodybuilder I want to become, I'm starting to learn that I had been doing a lot of things wrong, whether that's training, um, gear, uh, just anything. As far as bodybuilding, I was doing wrong or I just wasn't doing to its fullest potential. And that's the, that's the best part about bodybuilding and that's what makes it so much fun is that you could always improve and you can always get better and there's always gonna be something that I or you guys could do to make yourself get that much closer to becoming everything that you know you can become. So bodybuilding isn't just about building muscle, it isn't just about eating the correct foods, it's a lot of mental work, it's a lot of um, mental toughness and in all honesty, guys, I'm learning that I kind of have to be a lot more calm with myself. Yes, that might, when I get hungry and and I and I get like hangry, like that doesn't really reflect, but I'm a lot calmer and a lot more like okay with the process of me becoming what I have to do and have to become. And that's just something I think that you guys can learn from, that I'm learning from, is that you kind of have to be zen with the process and you kind of just have to accept that things are going to kind of suck in the, in the process of doing things and it's just all part of the game bodybuilding is something that that i knew was hard i knew it was going to be something that um most people can't do but that's what makes me enjoy it is the fact that i know it's something that most people can't do because if you're like me i don't want to be like most people i don't want to go and party go and do the normal person thing <laughs> normal people kind of in my eyes really don't have a drive for much other than just making it by in life and i i know there's something more to this life and for some reason bodybuilding is calling is calling my name and um yeah guys that's that's my spiel as you, as you guys can see here i switched to the v the v bar and um this is more of a, like a, a close grip uh shoulders close to my body pull down. Again, I'm doing 20, rest 20, 20, rest 20. And um, this here, I'm looking at my technique here. I could have done better. Um, 
like I said, I'm always gonna be improving. I could have done a lot better. <laughs> I'm fucking dying right here. But um, even though my technique wasn't perfect, I, I, I am pushing myself, which is good, but I'm gonna next workout try and improve the technique and I probably lower the weight a little bit. Um, I, I'm, still, I'm still gonna be having to learn this entire prep on like the proper mechanics and technique on things. And yes, I've been doing this for for damn near seven years, but I still like here, like I'm not happy with this. As you guys can tell, like I'm not sure if you guys see what's wrong with it. Um, I should keep my chest higher. I should rotate my shoulders back. I should be squeezing my my lower lats versus like here, it looks like I'm kind of just pulling my arms a bit, which is probably why I have such giant juicy pythons is because when I do back, I tend to pull my arms a little bit more than I should. So, um, yeah, I want to grow my back, not my fucking arms. So I got to be pulling correctly. And uh, I, this is a perfect example of something that, I, <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? It's a perfect example of something that a lot of people do wrong. And I am definitely guilty of it. As you guys can see right here, especially right here. Ah, that doesn't look too good. <sighs> fuck, dude. How you feeling? It's the beginning, bro. <laughs> This is just the start of it. Everyone wants to be big. <laughs> Only some of us can. And I'm gonna be one of those motherfuckers. No, oh, you're just big because you take steroids. I'm not on steroids and now you fucking- All right, fuck, here we go. Wag your lap alone. Look at me. What's up, bro? <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught on to that, but I was like, what are you looking at, bro? Like, there was actually some dude just fucking staring at me through the rack, so I literally looked at him and was like, what, what, what's good, bro? Like, what the fuck are you looking at me for? He's probably looking at me because I'm fucking huge. Now I look, think back on it, but I'm in the zone, bro. Don't look at me. <laughs> uh, here I'm doing a wide grip uh, lap pull down, and this is for anywhere from 10 to 15 reps for a total of two sets. Um, that wasn't the guy looking at me, by the way, that walked behind me. That's one of the workers at the gym. His name's Luke, man. Cool old man, bro. He's got a lazy eye. He's pretty dope. Um, here's me doing a front double bicep. Uh, guys, I got a lot of work to do on this pose still. It's probably my favorite pose still, but I have a lot of work to do. And that's just, like I said, that's the name of the game. I'm never gonna be good enough in my eyes and self-doubt is something that used to really hinder me. And it used to keep me from doing the things I want to do. Um, but when it comes down to it, we're all gonna doubt ourselves because for some reason, every single person tends to compare themselves to other people. And I compare myself to guys like Logan Franklin, Chris Bumstead, Ruff Diesel, uh, Noel. Like, you know, I compare myself to the, the biggest people in the industry. And I gotta realize I'm 23 years old. These guys are all in their 30s. And I got a lot, a lot of room to grow. And I got, have a lot of uh, potential, and I know I do. And just like a lot of you guys, you guys all have the same potential I do to create the life that you guys want to create. And all it takes is a conscious decision to become what you want to become. It's that simple. There's no sets done. That's the, that's. Workout number one. Workout number one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so pumped, bro. Imagine when I hop on all the gear. You guys are, I'm not ready, bro. I'm actually gonna look crazy. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be scary. I'm excited to see you just fucking. <laughs> Dude. The veins are coming. Slowly but surely. Um, Voice over, guys, in three, two, one. And that's something like I want to touch on too. Over here, I'm doing a bent over like barbell row with a rack, as you guys can see. I think I believe I'm doing eight reps. But regardless, something I want to touch on is like the self doubt narrative that all of us do have. But boys, like boys and girls, if you're a girl watching this, what up? Um, it's something that we've been conditioned to believe in because I, I seriously think the system, the power, the people in power really don't want us to succeed because every single one of us have a gift to offer, whether that's you're really good at communicating, you're really intuitive, you could be really strong, like uh, whatever your gift is, you have it. And it takes some time to find it, but when you find it, you'll know you have it and you'll know it's what you're supposed to do. And a lot of the people, in power have taught the people that teach us like teachers the system the entire college university system high schools edu young education whatever it is has made us grow up believing that we are not good enough and that we cannot be like the people we look up to when in reality we can be better than the people we look up to because like i said every single one of us have a gift to offer so yeah, I'm looking at this now and like I could be a little bit more bent over as you guys can tell.
I mean, I'm looking pretty juicy. I'm sweating my ass off in the gym. Uh, this gym is like around like 75 degrees. So it's pretty hot in there, so I do like to break a sweat. Uh, right here I'm doing, uh, this is considered a T-bar row, correct? Yeah, and this is a V-bar a row. A V-bar row, I'm doing this V-bar row for five sets of eight, resting 30 seconds in between. And by this part of the workout, I felt like I was gonna throw up. Um, I'm not going crazy heavy because I'm spent. Like, at this part of the workout, guys, you guys should be going hard enough and tired to the point that you guys are just trying to focus on the contraction and maximizing the blood in the back. <sighs> Fuck, sorry, I burped. But yeah, um, whether this is a back workout, an arm workout, or a leg workout, once you get the heavy weight out of the way, then you go and you force blood in and you hold the blood as long as possible. That's when something like a Gatorade, um, like 12 ounces of a Gatorade or a intro workout drink, like a Carboline is uh, really good for, is it, it, it allows your body to keep the simple sugars uh, flowing through the, like the blood glucose keeps it up in your system. Hopefully I didn't fuck that up too well, but it keeps your, your body able to keep a pump and if you can't keep the fucking pump then you're not working out hard enough or your body's not fueled whether you're on a cut or you're um you're bulking if you can't keep a pump that's a clear indication that you're not fueled enough and yes you should have a pump on a cut uh unless you're like really digging really hard and that's one thing a lot of people don't understand is they think that they should be flat all the time when they're cutting and that's far from the truth yes i mean i i will be taking gear eventually and that will help me stay full but right now this is me not on gear and i'm just as full as i would be on because my diet is perfect so you guys keep your diet in track you guys have a good coach like me <laughs> then you guys will and should have a good pump and it's very 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 simple bodybuilding should be simple fuck man three more sets two more sets how are you feeling after the workout though Good, bro. I'm not done yet. Which, that's good. I'm having a good workout. It's a small patty right now. Boys ain't ready. I'm gonna do this show. Put my middle finger straight up my own ass. Because I didn't believe in myself. I know a lot of you guys don't believe in me either. But it's more about what I think. You guys can suck my balls if you guys don't believe in me. But I didn't believe in myself. So I want to put this right up my own ass. Because... I'm a fucking man, I need to keep a promise to myself and I said I was gonna do a show, so I'm gonna do a show. Doesn't matter if I think I'm big enough or not. And then after off season, we're gonna off season really hard. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get fat, I'm just gonna get really big. And I got a really good coach. Uh, he's really on his shit with me. He was making me be on my shit and I fucking love it. So I really do see a lot of potential in the future for competing. I've not seen myself as a Chris Bumstead type until very lately, so that, Fuck yeah. I'm saying that now, you guys can blow me if you guys don't think I could be. Oh, but you're not as serious as Chris. Doesn't matter, I'm my own personality, I'm my own person. I'm not like anyone else in the industry because I'm not gonna try and copy any of you fucks. I'm cool the way I am, bro. It sounds really cocky, and if you think that's cocky, it's more so confidence. I really want you guys to know that too, is try and emulate, you guys do posing videos, you guys like looking cute and dainty. That's dope. Now the Trend Twins are at it, doing lifting hard, lifting heavy. And now everyone's out there lifting heavy, going hard. You guys are all copy paste versions of each other and it's fucking, I'm sorry, but like you're not gonna get anywhere being like other people. Here's the industry and I wanna be over here and I don't wanna be in this shit anymore. I don't like being in the industry. A lot of you This is an attack. I'm not attacking anyone, but a lot of people in the industry, they're not what they what you think they are. Or uh, they're just fucking assholes, <laughs> like straight up. They're not good people. They just want to use you for your money. Let me get my set, fuck. Yeah, man, and like the reason I'm saying this is because a lot of the past year I realized I was trying to kind of emulate what other people were doing instead of just being myself, bro. Like, and that's just straight up honesty. And I was doing the fucking copy paste version of what other people were doing. And yes, I have a lot of originality in myself because that's just, I mean, I'm just, at the same time, I am just who I am. But something that I want you guys to learn from, from me right now before you guys start this journey is you do not need to be like anyone else. You should not want to be like anyone else because you're fucking cool the way you are. And I wish I knew that when I started is that the reason why I have people that follow me, the reason why people want to listen to me is because I'm being me right? People don't do that because I'm copying someone and I want to offer value authentically. 
And when I don't be my authentic self, I tend to hate doing fucking content. So that's also why I was so inconsistent. So I'm gonna consistently be myself and consistently tell people to fuck off because if you don't like me, that's too fucking bad and you guys should have that same attitude too. Straight up. If you're not getting sore after this, then like you're doing something wrong. Fucking Superman over here. Yeah. Do you guys have to get sore after every workout? Because like the sign says you don't have to. I personally think you should. I'm sore after every workout I do. And if I'm not, I feel like I didn't work hard enough. But the science-based homies that are 110 pounds tell you that you don't have to get sore. I don't know. Me? Or are you gonna listen to, you know, the little guys. The little guys. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I'm in a fucking crazy mood right now because I'm hungry. I've been very focused. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts that are really like motivational and helpful. So I really feel like I can take over the world. So I'm just saying whatever the fuck I want because I really don't think anyone can tell me to shut up. Which you guys could tell me to shut up if you guys want to. All right, come on brother. That's your 30 seconds. Get back to fucking work, come on. It's not 30 seconds, it's two minutes. <laughs> Look at this. Look. See that? Drip. Drip. The fit or the, the actual drip? The actual dripping. <laughs> if you're not sweating, this is a fucking back day. Some of y'all don't even sweat during leg day. Pansies. It's cause they're working out at LA Fitness. <laughs> yeah, the AC's on like 62, you're into the Arctic over there. Ah! This is probably the worst part of the workout. I'm not, I'm not even lying. This has to be the worst part of the workout. Yeah, uh, you said that like 10 times. No, no, this is definitely the worst one. And voiceover. So like moving forward with this whole message guys is if you guys are at 18 minutes watching this video, like you guys, hopefully you are, right? Motherfuckers, you guys are this far watching. Um, we have a young lady drop on the 25th. We're dropping some dope shit. Uh, code Patty because I am very fucking dope, right? And if you guys have watched this video this far, that means you guys really do fuck with me. So that means I fuck with you. You're my boy or my girl, whether you're a girl or a boy or you're neither. I don't care what you identify as. Uh, you're my pansexual homie. How's that, guys? I'm doing hyper extensions, guys. I'm on rep number seven. And how many do you have to do? 100. 100? My lower back is sore, so this kind of sucks already. Get that blood. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna do 20 in a row. Sweet. Oh my god, bro, I'm already dying. Oh. I'm so glad that we don't have the audio in this whole thing because I was moaning like a girl on prom night. I'm not gonna lie, bro. My legs were shaking the entire time after this shit. I just got fucked by Shaq. That's literally how I felt after doing these. 100 body weight, um, what are these called again? Hyper extensions. It actually murdered my lower back and my hamstrings. I, I don't know what happened. I was like a deer that just got born, which is good. Every workout you should feel like you just got absolutely by the gym. Whoa there. Okay, don't take this out of context, but you should actually destroy yourself or feel like you got destroyed. Okay, I gotta do 50. I gotta do 54 more. Bro, what in the fuck, Kyle? Actually dying here. Like, um, finishing off the workout with uh, a rep Reps of 100 on dumbbell. I can't think of reps of 100 on dumbbell. Sorry guys, I'm, my brain is farting out. Ah. 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 <laughs> Bro, Jesus, these are so heavy. What weight are you using? 25s. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the form good too, so it's like a double-edged sword, bro. They're so heavy and my form is breaking down. I think I got the fucking Spongebob arms on right now. <laughs> I think I blew them up. Hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. My name is Patty Cakes Fit. Make sure you guys subscribe and lick my butthole. Yes. Cool. We'll see you guys at the house, guys. Nice. Staring into their soul. Now, a glute spread. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Leave that in there, you fuck. Okay, guys, we just finished. 
I just finished the workout. I ate my meal. I had my intro workout. Technically, it was a Gator. It had half of it because I forgot to drink it while I was training. And I was just so fucking hungry. So I had that on the way here. It was a good workout. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of content. Uh, it's a little different, obviously, because I'm doing a voiceover with like random clips and then all the training footage. I hope you guys like kind of get an idea of how I do train. This was the first time I've hit this exact workout. And this is going to be the exact back workout I do all of prep until we start seeing exactly what I need to work on. I'm probably going to shit on myself the entire time in this because I looked at some of the clips just now and I realized I was going really fast in some of the movements and I should be like squeezing more and doing certain things differently. So it's cool seeing myself train for one. Also, uh, it's going to be cool for you guys to see the journey of me learning how to actually like lift even better because I guess, yes, I've been doing this for six, seven years but there's always a room for improvement. And you guys are gonna notice that, hopefully you guys will notice that I am getting better every single workout. Physique will obviously get better with every single workout. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment because every single comment that is on this video will be entered for a giveaway on uh, the next video. I'm gonna be giving away a Young LA uh, like package. And on top of that, guys, it's like, right now I'm averaging maybe like 20 comments a YouTube video. So like the likelihood of you getting chosen is like really high. So if you guys want some free Young LA, comment. Let's get this YouTube channel fucking blown up because this is my livelihood and this is gonna be what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my, hopefully the rest of my life, right? Hopefully bodybuilding is gonna last for the next 10 years and you guys will be on the journey with me. I will be the biggest, one of the biggest names in the industry, guys. So I fucking love you guys as always um, and I am out.